you're also interested in the evolution of religion, uh, specifically biological factors that contribute to the development of religious beliefs. Um, many biologists, like Richard Dawkins, point to evolutionary biology as their evidence that religious belief is simply random or unnecessary. How would you respond to that? I'll start by granting the evolutionary biologists like Richard Dawkins um, a couple of things. For one thing, I do think that religion was, has been, and perhaps still is advantageous to uh, humans in, in our groups. And I also recognize that the existence, the universality in all known cultures of religious belief, of course, not all individuals in all cultures, but all cultures, uh, does not provide evidence that there is something to be believed out there. But on the other hand, this argument that we have found a temporal process underlying religious belief meaning a cultural and evolutionary history, and we've found, an adaptive, we've found adaptive explanations for it, somehow undermining religious belief is just nonsense. As evolutionary biologists, we assume that all of our traits have a history, that are un they are underlain by a temporal process. Our arms and legs, our eyes, and so our morality and our religion we should assume that that is going to be the case. So it's a little disingenuous to look for the temporal process as the undermining factor. We don't use the temporal process in explanations of any trait to undermine any other trait besides uh, religion, although some people use it to undermine morality as, morality as well. So I would say a better way to go about it is to recognize humbly that there are certain people, such as myself, that think that the world is, uh, the world would be a rather odd place if there was this universal search for the transcendent, and yet there's no such thing as the transcendent. Um, and yet there 